Hey everybody, it's Callum and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we made it here to the Yiga Clan hideout. Where today, we're going to be doing this without the Sheikah armor. That's not what I wanted to do. I've already messed up, so... Yeah, don't just do what I'm doing right now. Best thing to do is sneak up on the enemies and use a sneak strike, but of course, I couldn't even do that. There's a wind cleaver, a very good weapon, but not something we can use currently. Now, um... Hmm... I'm just wondering how sneaky I can actually be, considering I do not have the Sheikah armor. Again, do as I say, not as I do. I highly, highly recommend getting the Sheikah armor. Okay, just slowly... Actually, no. I've never done this before. <laughs> I'm using my usual strategy to get through this area, but I've never gone up here to do this. Hold a mighty banana. Check it far. Barta mentioned that the Yiga clan love bananas. So we go up behind and sneak strike. Sneak strikes kill enemies instantaneously. You're pretty good if you can get a sneak strike off. Um, by pretty good, I mean, like, you know, you're safe. If you can get a clear uh, sneak strike on an enemy, you're good to go. Now, uh, crap. I believe going up here... Yeah, let's just jump, jump, jump. And I'm so glad those voices are in Link's head and cannot be heard by any of the enemies because we would be dead immediately. You get a smorgasbord full of mighty bananas, which are very good um, for both healing and distracting the enemies. Nice bit of topaz there, which is um, more rupees, I guess. Now, there's a treasure chest there, but there are Yiga Clan guards everywhere. Like, I mean everywhere. What you're gonna wanna do is drop down here. Oh crap, no, he saw me. I've never tried this. I've never tried fighting these guys. Like, I've never tried genuinely trying to fight them and survive. It's never been a... Never been a thought in my mind. I just thought it was impossible because, you know... You're told it is and you die pretty much immediately. <laughs> okay. I think now is finally an appropriate time to say do as I do and not as I say. Now we've gotten the Sheikah armor. Our stealth is heavily increased, uh, but I'm just going to munch down on some food just to heal me up a little bit. Making sneak strikes much more easier. Uh, I believe there are still some mighty bananas up here. So yeah, okay. Just gonna grab those because you kind of need them, not going to lie. Um, yeah, I'm still going to have to do the old plan I had there. Oh, you can... I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, don't see me. 
Okay. Now that we are up here, we can hold the mighty banana, throw it far, sneak down, and sneak strike. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't need a torch, but I might do... Tell you what, I certainly don't need this Thunderblade anymore. Yeah, I've, I've got plenty of Thunderblades. I want a Vicious Sickle, just because it looks cool. Alright, let's go up and get this banana. Uh, can't be asked to get those. Alright, now we go through here. With the Sheikah armor, it's so much easier. I don't know why I didn't get it beforehand, but yeah. I definitely recommend you guys too. So, let's get this smorgasbord of bananas back. And this topaz. Good item to sell. Now... Ugh. Right, this is how I want to do this. I'm gonna wait for this guy to make his way back around this way. And we're just gonna sneak strike him when the time's right. Which isn't now. It's now. And they die pretty silently, giving you enough time to plan a further route. Okay, he's going to go around that way, okay. This is a good pattern, what I'm doing right now. Because, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm no good with um, stealth segments in any game. So I'm surprised that I'm even somewhat talking through this. Right here, we're going to have yet another collectible. Nice silver rupee. Which is amazing. Oh... I forgot that there are two Yika clan members. There's one right there, one right there, and a third one at the door. But there's two right here, which are very annoying. Um, Because if we go for that one, this one right underneath is going to see. And if we go for this one, we can make a little bit of progression. Which annoys me because I like killing everything to make sure I don't get caught. Uh, I think... I think I'm just gonna get this one. I can't necessarily remember my 100% plan for getting rid of these guys, but it definitely involves getting rid of this one by the door. Let's just hope that one down there doesn't... Okay. Run. Just get in here. <laughs> if I'm completely honest. Now, I believe this is a dud chest. There's nothing really in it. Mighty bananas. Okay. But there are chests in the ground. Which can be popped right out. Of course, you're going to find an assortment of items. And yes, I noticed there's a fake wall over there. We will get to that in a second once we have popped out the last chest. Is that the last chest? Yes, it is. Just pop this out of the ground. We've gotten gemstones throughout the past two. So, third time's charm. Gemstone? Gemstone. Remove this fake wall. Or don't remove it. Spin it around. I'm behind. 
we have. Wait for it. Who the heck are you? And what are you doing in my napping spot? Wait a minute! That thing on your hip, is that... Could it be a Sheikah Slate? If that's a Sheikah Slate, then that means... Yes, it's you! You're the Link guy I've been looking for! Oh, my luck. My scouts... Uh, what luck? My scouts are out in the field looking high and low, but you just wander into my hideout. Oh, ex excuse me. I haven't introduced myself yet. I am the leader of the Yiga clan. The strong. The burly. The one. The only. Master Koga! Now prepare yourself. Yes, this is Master Koga! Um. Oh. Shoot. Uh, I forgot about that. Just shoot Master Koga when he's got the ball above his head. It'll do damage. Take him. Take him for a little pain ride. I want. I'm never gonna say that again. I'm gonna change weapons. I'm gonna use the Boulder Breaker. But not really for anything else other than to hit him when he's down. When he gets to about half health, I believe he's at, he'll hop over this pit where you cannot hit him. You can only hit him with arrows, but that's not what we're going to do. Oh, he's not half health, he's about three quarters health. When these boulders get above him, shoot him. And then hit him. The amount of times I have failed on this on my first attempt. I think I failed pretty much instantly with this because uh, I wasted all my arrows just trying to hit him. And now. He has a metal ball. Which, as I said, it's metal. Just hit him across the head with it, and you're good to go. You will get another one, just hit him across the head with it once more. Who would have thought I'd be done in like this, and by this guy of all people? Oh, you think I'm just gonna let this stand, do you? <clears throat> I almost lost my temper there. Ugh, what a pain. I can't go out this way. What to do, what to do? Ha! I got it. <laughs> I need to bust out my serious moves. A secret technique taught to my father's mother's father. It will destroy you. This is the end. <laughs> uh, huh. Maybe it's just a tad too big. Are you still over there? Well, no matter. Pretty soon you'll be gone. And not just from my line of sight. Only the leader of the Yiga clan can use this secret technique as the ultimate... Coward, I shall be remembered. The Yiga clan will track you to the ends of Hyrule! He's not wrong. 
and it's very annoying how he isn't. <sighs> right here, the Thunder Helm. So now, all we need to do is, you know, prove how idiotic I am once more. Teleport back to the Gerudo village. Um, last time I did this, I decided to go ahead of where Koga's pit is which takes you into a very cold region, and at the time I didn't have the snow quill armor, so... You can see how that turned out. I did eventually think, oh, I can just fast travel back to the Gerudo village. And, yeah. And here we are, in the Gerudo village. You know what? Screw you guys, I'm climbing over the wall. You can do this as long as you have the um, Gerudo Vi like outfit. If you were wearing anything else and coming in from any direction, where even where the guards couldn't see you, you will have been caught. So. Let's head back up to Riju. Who isn't there? What have you got to say about this Bulari Buliara? If you're looking for Lady Riju, she's on the second floor. Normally people aren't allowed into her sleeping quarters, but she has given you permission, it seems. Be on your best manners. If she deems you to be a disturbance to her, it will not end well for you. <sighs> Very menacing, I have to admit. Heading up to the second floor, here's Riju, and she is so tiny! Oh my god. I've been waiting for you. Oh, you needn't say a word. As the chief of the Gerudo, I can sense the power of the heirloom flowing from you. I know that you've succeeded. I am, as you have no doubt noticed, still but a child. The people look on me with nothing but warmth in their eyes, but even this brings me some pain, I must admit. I've tried so hard to be worthy of their love, to be a worthy chief, and to prove myself that I was worthy to. Prove to myself that I was worthy to. When my family heirloom was stolen, I felt as though a shadow had fallen over me. Yes, your arrival in the midst of all this must be the work of Lady Urbosa. Now, please give me the helm. Um, how do I look? Ah, well you certainly got here fast. I should have expected as much, from the princess's own appointed knight. She was out on a survey all day today, still as the sands now. So, spill it boy, have the two of you been getting along alright? <laughs> it's okay, I know, your silence speaks volumes. She gets frustrated every time she looks up and sees you carrying that sword on your back. It makes her feel like a failure when it comes to her own destiny. Don't worry, it's not like you carry blame in any of this. It's unfortunate. She's put in more than enough time. Ever since she was a young girl, she's gone through rigorous daily routines to show her dedication. She once passed out in the freezing waters trying to access this ceiling power. And she has nothing to show for it. That's the motivation driving her research. I'd be doing the same thing. She really is quite special. 
You be sure to protect her with your life. It's quite the honor. The night brings a chill. It's probably time we take her in. Hmm. Or... Abusa! What was that? Did you feel that? Wait, what? How did you... What are you doing here? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> What's wrong? You're just staring. Anyway, what matters now is... How... How is it? Do I look alright? You look good! I see. The threat Divine Beast Vondoboris poses has only grown since we began searching for the heirloom. I believe that Gerudo Town itself may be in danger before too long. As Chief... And as a Gerudo, I must find some way to stop that thing before it threatens my people. Will you help me? Of course we will. <laughs> who would have who would have thought that? Just such a momentous uh, just before such a momentous battle, hearing a simple confident pledge of support from you would would be what puts me at ease. I'll look out now. Oh, I'll head out now. Let's meet at the lookout post, south of the town. There's only one way to get close to Naboris, and that's with the help of the Sand Seal. The lookout post isn't far from town, but you should take a Sand Seal there. You can get some practice in that way. I'll be there waiting for you with my favorite Sand Seal, Patricia. Still, it is a little big. Well... We have returned the Thunderhelm to Lady Riju. We have been given an objective to head to the lookout point on a sand seal to tackle the Divine Beast Vana Boris. Which we will do next time. So, thank you all so much for watching, and next time, we're going to be beating our final Divine Beast. And then after that, the finale. See you guys then.